What's up, people? Matthew here. Uh, it's been a little while since uh, my last update, but I've been uh, building and rebuilding a lot of stuff. I've been pretty busy. Um, I only have so much time, you know, to spend down here in the basement, so um, I tried to do some modeling instead of filming, but now I've got a little time this afternoon, so I figure, what the hell? So as you can see, this corner has been completely redone. I decided I wanted some uh, a uh, locomotive shop area. Show you that area uh, more closely in a minute. Let's keep going around. So this corner has also been completely redone. Uh, this is gonna be like a, uh, a grain elevator there along the wall on the left with a few spots to unload some corn syrup tankers. And if we keep going around, um, yeah, that's where we at, we're at. Uh, it ran for a bit, but then uh, I'll show you what happened. So what happened was, and I can uh, hear you all laughing already, have at it, um, <laughs> is that my boards got smaller the second I turned my uh, furnace on for the winter, and I ended up with uh, 1.8 gaps everywhere between all my boards and I had switches spanning the boards and they all promptly exploded um, so I just figured screw it tear it all up start over so I've uh, attempted to stabilize my boards by adding these little uh, wooden brackets that are both glued and screwed hopefully um, and tattooed hopefully uh, my boards won't shrink uh, next winter. I'll probably get a, uh, a humidifier down here to uh, help. And also, I've completely covered the uh, the wood, wood, which I should have done before, but I gave it some a uh, few coats of poly, so now it's plastic. So down at this end, uh, I've been working on this uh, station building. As you can see, we're going full boomer with the uh, the, the scratch building out of uh, styrene. Uh, what's great about modeling Mexico is a lot of the buildings are just are, are very simple. They're boxes uh, with flat roofs, so that makes uh, scratch building quite easy. So in the middle of the yard, I've started uh, working on my uh, speeder shed. Uh, it's all scratch built out of styrene as well. I'll show you the other side. And as you can see, this one I've done a little bit of uh, texture work on uh, to replicate like a, uh, a stucco, you use this uh, Vallejo plastic putty uh, diluted with some water, you just brush on uh, several coats of it and you end up with a fairly convincing um, stucco finish. In the uh, rolling stock department, got a few new cars, these are the uh, the Rapido X72s in the uh, Pasco paint scheme, probably the only guy in Canada that ordered these. Um, these ran in Mexico in uh, cement in cement service until 2014 or so is where I can find some evidence uh, it's, which means they're a little uh, old for uh, what I'm doing which is more modern day mostly but yeah I'm willing to compromise too because uh, they look they look pretty cool got a few new engines as well uh, on the right is a uh, SD40 from the uh, latest run from Athern ready to roll and then uh, I had to just had to get one of the uh, scale trains uh, as the L39s because these things are pretty sweet. So I just got one of the uh, the Chile ones. Uh, it doesn't really fit, but yeah, it fits more than on the Canadian layout, I guess. Got a few things on the bench. This is a GP38 uh, owned by a company called Business Parts, which is like uh, Larry's truck and electric, but Mexican version. Um, this is an Atlas model, uh, still, need, still needs a lot, but it's coming along. Also working on other, another one of these. Uh, on this one I did swap the ends for uh, ends that came off of a uh, Tangent X58 boxcar. Props to Tangent models for selling bare shells of their models as uh, individual parts, so I can just get a $5 uh, bare shell and cut the ends off. Because um, I wouldn't want to do that with the uh, perfectly good, good model. Uh, they're not 100% e exact, but they're a lot closer than the, uh, the, the ends of a Berwick boxcar for one of these. 
So that's it. I've been pretty quiet, but I've been pretty busy. You know, it's like trench warfare. You go forward a little, you go back a little. You go forward a little, you go back a little. Uh, so I'll see you guys later.